This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, a website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. How are you doing, you wonderful nerds? Since it's October at the time that I'm recording this, I figured we could finally do a video about my favorite cartoon franchise of all time, Scooby-Doo. You probably know of Scooby and Shaggy's insatiable appetites, particularly how often they eat strange combinations of food, like the Super Shaggy Sandwich. This sandwich, by the way, even has its own wiki page detailing further ingredients like ham and ketchup and other food items you can see on on the table, but don't confuse it with the Shaggy Super Sandwich, you guys, all right? Totally different things. And you thought the Marvel Universe had some deep lore. And while it is easy to chalk up Shaggy's appetite to him being a stoner, haha, <laughs> there was actually a canon, albeit silly, explanation for Shaggy's crazy cravings. In the second episode of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?, we get this throwaway line that supposedly explains it all. Yeah, man, I can already taste those chocolate-covered hot dogs. Yeah. Can I help it if my first toy was a garbage disposal? Yep, a toy garbage disposal, just like we all got when we were kids. But hold on, go back a second. Hot dogs and ham in that sandwich from earlier? Isn't Shaggy supposed to be a vegetarian? A zucchini, anyone? It's probably not a piece of lore that most people would know, but throughout most of his history, Shaggy Rogers was a pretty clear vegetarian, seen eating and craving mostly fruits and vegetables. Even if the snack table featured meat, the script would go out of the way to show that Shaggy was, in fact, gorging himself on some strange meatless concoction. Would you like a bite of my peanut butter and potato chip pizza? Some say the character followed a vegetarian diet even in the live action movies, although he does make a reference to pastrami flavored ice cream, so. Daphne, you're the pastrami and bubblegum flavored ice cream, and Velma, you're the sweet and sour mustard sauce that goes on top. Jury's still out on that one. Scooby Snacks are vegetarian, though. That, that was established. They're 100% vegetarian, and, and I love them. Like me, too. But as we can see in episodes like this. Let's see now. More bologna? Yeah, 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 yeah. And some more meatloaf? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shaggy didn't always follow a vegetarian diet. I mean, the goofball has always been a sweet, loving hippie, so it definitely fits his character to evolve and give up eating meat. However, his diet wasn't changed for the sake of character development. Instead, Shaggy became a vegetarian thanks to the actor who provided his voice, the legendary Casey Kasem. When Kasem became a vegetarian himself, he demanded that his character Shaggy follow suit for the second season of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Aside from a few unclear missteps, like Haunted House Hang-Up. Uh, let's flip a slice of bologna to the side. What? Uh, heads, we go to the right, and I eat it. Tails, we go to the left, and I eat it. Shaggy remained a vegetarian, and Kasem continued to reprise the role in subsequent Scooby series. Until 1995, when this happened. Like, I'm starving, Scoob. Me too. Like, I'll have 400 kids club meals. Me too. Look who's pulled into Burger King. Scooby-Doo and the whole gang. You can collect all five toys. One with every kids club meal. Thank you. I imagine flame broiled beef patties aren't exactly vegetarian friendly. Kasem quit the Scooby-Doo franchise and the role of Shaggy was passed on to others, but honestly, Scooby-Doo was already a bit stagnant at this point. I mean, a pup named Scooby-Doo had ended in 1991 and there wouldn't be another series featuring the cowardly dog, at least, you know, this specific cowardly dog, until over a decade later in 2002 when a brand new series would debut under the name What's New Scooby-Doo. The series brought Mystery Inc. into the modern era with updated technology and music while still harkening back to the show's roots and one way they did it was by bringing back Casey Kasem as the voice of Shaggy after seven years away from the role. Reportedly, Kasem agreed to come back if and only if Shaggy would unwaveringly remain a vegetarian. The folks behind the show agreed and Shaggy Rogers once and for all gave up eating meat. But not for long. After What's New Scooby-Doo ended in 2005, the role of Shaggy was passed on to other voice actors who don't seem to care all that much about the character's diet. In fact, the current actor playing Shaggy is Matthew Lillard. Like, that is my favorite name. Lillard had brought the character to life in those perfect and sacred live-action Scooby-Doo movies, but even though his portrayal of Shaggy was probably vegetarian in the films, pastrami ice cream debacle aside, the Shaggy he voices in cartoons is decidedly not. Then we'll talk to eggs and see what we can bacon. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer in my opinion. Small details like that can really add depth to a cartoon universe and round out a character. 
but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Should Shaggy have stayed a vegetarian? Does it matter at all to you? Also, while I have you, leave a like if you think I should do another video about Scooby-Doo trivia, like the fun history behind the laugh track, or perhaps a philosophy behind Mystery Inc. If you couldn't tell, I'm actually a really big Scooby-Doo fan. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will respond to some of them in Monday's comment response video. Hey, wait a minute. The set is different now. Never mind that. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace makes it incredibly simple to create beautiful websites with their all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. They even recently launched 16 new templates to make creating your powerful online identity even easier. Now you guys know this, I've used Squarespace for a ton of stuff, even this website right here where you can find more information about that book that I'm definitely writing. I mean, look how pretty that is. It was so simple to do and you guys can do it too. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash nerdsync to get 10% off your first purchase because they love you wonderful nerds. As always, a huge thanks to our patrons, Christopher Lang, Keaton Lampert, Mike Harville, Elizabeth Monsell, and the rest of the wonderful nerds who help keep the show going over at patreon.com slash nerdsync. I encourage you to watch more nerdsync. Click or tap right here to see our latest video or write down here for something YouTube's mysterious algorithm thinks that you will enjoy. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.